Well, I can't believe we're saying this, but hello again, Tropics fans. It's great to be with you. We've got soccer happening again, finally, after this long hiatus, and we're excited to talk about it, as always. And uh, the man to my left needs no introduction for Tropics fans. He's been with this franchise literally since day one, now going on five years ago, Victor Pereras. And Victor, thanks for joining us. Uh, and I have to ask you just uh, generally, how exciting is it to be back and playing soccer finally after all this time? Thank you, Raya. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here again, finally. And it's a good feeling to get back to at least a little bit the way the things were. Uh, it was great. It's a great feeling to be back in action. Um, it's just something that you feel like you can get, you can't take it for granted anymore. You know, like you're out there on the field and out of nothing, everything stopped. And now you're back at it again. It's a good feeling. It's happiness for me. You know. How did you fill your time over these last uh, five, six months? I know you got married not all that long ago, so I'm sure you had lots to do there. But uh, tell us an idea. Uh, on and off uh, the field, if you were able to train at all, what you did during the summer to, to try and stay in shape, and knowing that at some point we would get back and playing, whether it was outdoors or indoors, but uh, just tell us about how that went. Uh, I think, first of all, yeah, getting being married, you got to know, I got to know my wife even better, <laughs> right? At least for the first two months, right. we were at home, we wouldn't <laughs> leave and everything. It was good, good experience, I think. He put us in a good place and about training and getting shape it's hard of course uh, it's hard for you to be touching the ball when you're not practicing every day but I tried to, to be in shape at least uh, with my body um, doing workouts at home uh, I had a little gene at the condo that I would go basically every day and do my workouts and everything running on the on the streets um, then we got back to playing a little bit here and there, but mostly uh, it's how do you say like manage yourself and be creative sometimes because you don't have the time and sometimes space or people to do so right. So it was, I think I think I did pretty well. I, I stayed in shape, um, and I'm happy. I'm glad we're back in. Well, you look fantastic, if that means anything, and uh, <laughs> you certainly did a, a great job, and you got the Tropics' first goal of the season uh, Saturday night uh, over in Bradenton when the Tropics opened their outdoor campaign. Now, this is the second season in the UPSL. Of course, the Tropics played in the spring of 2019 and went 18-0, won the national championship uh, that season. So uh, you guys kind of have a target on your back now. It's not like you're sneaking up on anybody and, and the rest of the league doesn't know about what the Tropics are all about. This Sunday at Lake uh, Myrtle Sports Complex in Auburndale, the Tropics will be shooting for their 20th consecutive win. I was at doing the math on the way over here today. You realize since the spring of 2019, the Tropics, I believe, are... 39 and 3 <laughs> between the outdoor season and the indoor season you don't even know what it's like to lose anymore <laughs> yeah yeah it's a great feeling to be winning you know uh, there is no better feeling than that and um i hope we keep going that way and make big things and conquer big bigger things and it's gonna be hard it's gonna be difficult uh, most of the guys are just getting back in shape um most of us were very long time without touching yeah. the ball, and uh, we, I think we got to live day to day, get better day to day, game to game, and we see what's going to happen in the end, but um, we're pretty sure it's going to be harder than ever, but I think we're, we're up to the challenge. And, yeah, yeah I mean, it. I tease a little about that record, but it is true, obviously. And uh, you've kind of gone from being a franchise and a team that obviously did okay, but it hasn't had this kind of success when it first started out. Now you're really like a team that has a target on its back. I mean, everyone knows about the tropics. Everyone is aware of the talent level on the tropics, indoor and outdoor What's it like to be hunted like that, to have that target on your back now knowing that every team that you're going to play is is really probably going to give us their best effort that night? I mean, uh, 
I think if you are an athlete and you compete, uh, you always want to be the best, right? And that's what sometimes we feel on the field. You know, we won the whole the whole league without losing a game, so everybody comes up and wants to beat us. And you can feel that in the field. You just gotta give you more, you know. Like I I I, I like to say that it's easier to get to the top than to maintain in the top. So right. uh, it's going to be a harder season. Everybody's going to be hungry to beat us, and we just got to be ready for that. that. That's a mental challenge, though, as much as anything, right? Knowing that you have to, uh, if they're going to be at the top of their game, you've got to be at the top of yours every time out. Yeah, exactly. We can't give them a chance. If you give them a chance and they sneak that ball in, it's going to be a a hard, a hard climb. You know? An example of that is Saturday's game. For the first time ever in the regular season, you guys trailed actually one nothing. Uh, uh, the franchise that we played over in Bradenton, the PSE Conquistadors, uh, new in the UPSL this year, at least new to us, uh, actually did get that first goal. And then uh, you came back with a penalty kick goal to tie things up and went on to get a, a two to one win, a, a hard fought win to be certain. One of the nice things I think for Tropics fans though, and, and for you guys as well, is the fact that it's a very similar roster than what we had in the spring of 2019 when we won the national championship. The indoor guys like you and Hugo Silva and Lucas Monoleras are, are all playing. The Ricardo Carvalho, who joined us late in 2019, is, is playing. Um, and a lot of the outdoor guys that were on that team, Garrettson Crane and uh, Corey Mills and others, are, are back. Andrew Clare, I think, is back. Uh, so how much does that help that the guys that you're out there with, at least you're, you're certainly familiar and comfortable with? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's a big plus for our team. Um, you know, the guys out there, for example, in the game, we started a little bit off. It was expected. We've been a long time without playing and everything. But to get to where you want to be, knowing your teammates, what they really think, the way they play, the way they pass the ball, it helps a lot. It makes you go get to where you want faster than, than if you don't, don't have that kind of chemistry already, you know. And I'm just glad to have them next to me, you know, like the great players. And it's amazing to be back next to them and be part of the team again. Well, and I think what we saw in the spring of 2019 will likely repeat itself, where you guys just kind of kept getting better and better and better as the season went on. And that uh, Melvin Botang, another one who's back, who does all our uh, video work uh, and scored one of the biggest goals of the season last year for you guys. So uh, it, it's nice to, that, that that core uh, is intact for fans so when they come out Sunday to Lake Myrtle Sports Complex they'll know right away who they're seeing and who they're rooting for. So don't forget that kickoff is 6 o'clock this coming Sunday. That's uh, at Lake Myrtle against Hurricane FC. And then uh, a lot of fun coming up. Uh, it's actually the first of five straight home games for the Tropics. And uh, we're looking forward to Saturday, October 3rd out at Lake Myrtle. That will be a 7 o'clock kickoff because the opposition will be another new foe, but uh, a very local one at that. Uh, Winter Haven United FC will be the uh, opposition that night. First time that the Tropics have had a chance to go up against Winter Haven, and so that should be a lot of fun, uh, kind of build a fun and and uh, friendly, but yet intense local rivalry with a, a team literally uh, 10 miles down the road. So we hope uh, to see you out at Lake Myrtle this fall. Six home games, uh, five in a row, starting with this one on Sunday, and then uh, I think three Sundays in uh, October as well for home games. The Sunday games are at 6, and the two Saturday home games will be at 7. Victor, thank you so much for being with us. We appreciate you taking time out of your schedule to join us. We look forward to seeing you on the field Sunday and the rest of the guys as well, and look forward to a great uh, UPSL outdoor season. So our thanks, too, to Bond Clinic for being our sponsor here on our first uh, foray into Tropics Weekly in the fall of 2020 and we will be with you every week with a new player, uh, coach, uh, somebody that is all about Tropic Soccer as we build what towards what we hope will be another run to the national championship uh, late this year. So the Tropics 1-0 and they will be in action on Sunday, this Sunday at the Lake Myrtle Sports Complex. Come out and see us. 
there is a parking fee, but then there is no admission charge. So bring a whole car load and support the team, and we hope to see you there. Until next time on Tropics Weekly, have a great week, everybody.